Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with PocketNow.com here at the Huawei booth at CES 2013 in Las Vegas checking out the Ascend Mate, Huawei's new phablet contender which we saw yesterday and uh, didn't have much time with it because we were sneaking a glance but uh, pan on down and we'll check it out. We're going to compare it briefly to the Samsung Galaxy Note, its closest competitor in the phablet space. see screen size here there's a giant difference between the 6.1 inch panel on the left on the Ascend Mate and the 5.5 inch panel there's also a difference in display technology this is of course Super AMOLED on the right you can tell from the deep blacks a really high color saturation and on the left uh, we're dealing with an IPS LCD more traditional you know we've talked about this over and over again it just kind of depends on your taste you notice we have a little bit more screen real estate on the Samsung device because we don't have the Android soft keys taking up space on the bottom but uh, Huawei has demonstrated that those can actually be hidden. I can't do it right now. Oh, there we go. It won't auto hide, but you can just tap that. And then when you want it back, you slide up. We think that's a nice, nice little touch there. Under the hood here, this is running on a quad-core 1.5 gigahertz processor. But uh, the big takeaway here is this is a 4,050 milliamp hour battery under the cover there, which outclasses the Galaxy Note 2 by a little bit. And Huawei also told us a little yesterday about their energy-saving features, uh, which uh, we call, which they called, I believe. Stamina. That's what it was called. It took me a second to remember that. Yes, it is. Uh, this is an 8.0 megapixel autofocus camera on the back. Of course, the same thing on the Galaxy Note 2. Wi-Fi Direct support, uh, 1080p video recording, 1080p video playback, all that kind of stuff. The same stuff we're, we're used to seeing here. So let's just see if my if the, my command of foreign languages... Uh, there is no stylus on the Huawei Ascend Mate. At least there's no dock for one. I'm sure that there is a uh, there is a stylus available. Actually, I actually don't remember at the moment. But uh, even if there isn't one right now, there probably will be. But there's, of course, no Wacom digitizer. So if you're looking for uh, the, the best in stylus support, of course, you're going to want to stick with the Samsung product. Let's just see if we can... There's no network support here, this being a typical CES. Let's just pop open Maps just to see if we can get an app launch idea. Boom, there's Google. One, two, three. And there we are. And that's, of course, driving location fix. And this says something that I don't know. But, uh, you know, we'll see about that. Anyway, it's just a very quick comparison. And looking at the hardware as a final look, take a glance there and we'll see that the, this is a, actually a very, very slim device in spite of its large proportions in other measurements. Up top. And alongside. And finally down on the bottom. And the Huawei Ascend made, of course, coming in white and black models as well. Once again, we're going to have a lot more detailed information about this device, but this is just a quick look of the two at the same time in a very, very, very stressful situation for someone who's just talking off the cuff. Pocket now, Michael Fisher, Las Vegas. Keep it locked to us for more. Thank you.